everybody, and welcome to Questline as we uh, uh, wrap up our four-part limited series, Eternity Fragment 2. This is our uh, love letter to uh, Japanese RPGs like Final Fantasy and Zelda. Uh, and it has been quite a journey indeed. Um, the uh, game system that we're playing is a game called Icon by Massive Press. Um, it is uh, available in playtest mode on uh, uh, itch.io. Uh, I encourage everyone, if you have uh, stayed with us uh, for the game so far, or if you're just joining us for the first time, uh, to go and check this game out, because uh, there's a lot more coming down when it reaches its like finished version, but we have had a blast playing it so far. Before we begin the game itself, I would like to acknowledge that we are coming to you live on Twitch from the traditional territories of the Musqueam nation. And we encourage um, everybody in the chat, be it live on Twitch or on YouTube after afterwards, to um, uh, let us know uh, what traditional t t t t t t territories you're coming to us from. Um, uh, trying to think of all the, all the homework and housekeeping and things like that. Um, being a, uh, a game based on uh, uh, kind of like that golden era of JRP, the game we are running for you is uh, essentially rated T for teen. So uh, we're avoiding profane language, graphic depictions of gore, though there will be uh, a bit of action and it will touch on themes of uh, conflict, battle, loss, um, and uh, what it might mean to succeed or fail, depending on how this game ends. Um, that being said, uh, we encourage everyone, but both our players at the t t t t table and everyone at home to uh, be kind and patient with, you, uh, with yourselves. Uh, please, uh, if you need to take time away, feel free to do so, and you can uh, check us out afterwards or you, you, you can come back again and f finish up if you liked. Um, during the course of play, there will be redemptions available for the viewers live on Twitch. Um, there will be uh, uh, boons, which are uh, available to our players that will uh, kind of give them a plus one, give them a... a, a bump up for, for actions. Uh, and then there will be curses, which will be for me here. If, if you want to encourage, uh, I don't know, good storytelling, it's not just to be a, a bad guy, it's to keep things interesting. Uh, that will give them a minus one as I see fit. As well, uh, you can redeem channel points to activate a limit breaks, uh, special abilities that our uh, players can use uh, at uh, narratively appropriate times. And speaking of our players, uh, let's meet our players now. They've been on uh, quite the adventure and now we are coming to its, its end. Let's start over here. Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Cheyenne Rulo. I am an actor and writer here uh, at Questline, and I'm playing Aoife Odanroth, who is a Lopin seeker, a little rabbit lady who makes soup. Hi, I'm Sam Canelli, and I'm playing Enosis Bronchi, a trog demon slayer 
who will split heaven and hell for his friends. Slay. Slay. <laughs> Hi, I'm Chris Murdoch. I am a costume maker and DJ here at uh, Questline, and I am playing Barnicuth Reefmeyer, who is a, uh, how do I say it? Playfully eugenicist crab man, uh, Zixo. <laughs> playfully eugenicist. <laughs> yeah, playfully eugenicist, I feel like might be uh, an appropriate term. That works, yeah, yeah that know, works. Like, he doesn't really want That's anything exactly. bad for anyone other than for everyone to one day ascend to crab. All hail sure. crab. All hail crab. Wow, we are <laughs> in docked. Um, yeah, we're deep. We're deep. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and? Hello, I'm Leona. I am a friend of Questline, and today I will be playing Vidya Thakur, our Thrin Chronicler magical girl. Amazing. And because I don't think I said my name, I am Alan, your host and game master for tonight's events. Okay. I think that means we are going to get into it. Dun, dun, dun. Where did we last leave off? It's a great question. <laughs> wow. I know, but I want to know if you know. We got bad news. Yeah. Yeah, sure we did. realized that the icon that we were trying to free, uh, once we, well, after we freed him, we realized that his plan is to destroy all the things. Never meet your heroes, kids. No. Never. Yeah. But also, good news, we, we got our, our friend uh, Auburn Payne yeah. uh, on our side. Yeah. yeah. After an intense fight. Yeah. Yeah. She is way too scary to not be on our side. Yeah. She's true. riding. Yeah. Um, Sky, now that he's in Freed, um, his goal and intention is to destroy all of the remnants of the Arkan Empire, which is a, a much older empire. The problem with this plan is that the remnants of the Arkan Empire are where the people of today have made their homes. Those ruins have been repurposed, those technologies have as well. So if Sky wants to get rid of everything, there's not gonna be much of anything left. And that's a little bit of a problem. So even yeah. though he's the very first icon, he might have gotten a little too revengey. Yeah. Yeah, he drank his own Kool-Aid. Oopsies. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you last. All hell crap. All hell crap. All hell crap. crap. God damn it. <laughs> Clickety click. I think it's just <laughs> gonna keep happening, gang. So yeah, let's right. just roll with the punches here, <laughs> or the claws, I guess. Oh. You last found yourselves uh, deep in a mist veil from which no hero, no icon has ever escaped, from which none have ever returned. Deep within that mist, you found the uh, demon, the aspect of blades. You conversed with him. Maybe the first time anyone has ever conversed with a demon in such a peaceful manner. But the demon understood that what you what you needed to achieve meant that he needed to adhere to his very nature. Though he did show signs that perhaps demons can change after all. You cut him down and the mist is now escapable for you. And that is where we will start. The wall of mist that uh, you found yourselves in. It is still there. It's still present. It might go away eventually with the absence of the uh, demon who inhabited it, but who can say it might take a day, it might take eons. All that you know now is that it is really hard to see through this mist, but slowly, the mist breaks around you, and we see in its full glory the ship 
that you are on, the flying sky ship, the main war emerges from the mist. It's dutiful Captain Auburn Payne standing at the wheel, piloting it herself. The uh, yeah, the four of you, Afa, in the Nosis, Barnicus, and Vidya stare on as the ship ascends out of the mist and into the clear skies of Arden Elf. Uh, some of you have been on airships in the past. Um, for some, this might be your first time. Uh, none have been this uh, th- 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 fancy. That's for sure. Uh, and uh, you see the wide v- 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 vista of Arden Eld uh, out in f- f- front of you and beneath you. You take the time to regard that it is beautiful. It is a land that was once scarred by a malevolent empire that is now um, that is is now healing in in green and blues and 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 all the colors that nature has t- t- to offer. How do you feel? I'm a little overwhelmed. Um, I, I've never been on an airship before. I've never seen things in this perspective before. Um, you know, being an icon is taking me around Ardenelle, but uh, for the most part, most of my life has been in my little farm community. So this is this is pretty big, and I'm pretty excited that I get to share it with my my 19 bun buns who are running wild all over the ship right now. There's <laughs> absolutely no containing them. Um, they're definitely pressing buttons they shouldn't. Um, but I'm just ex- I'm just excited that uh, I, I'm able to to bring them along with me to see such an amazing sight that we may never see again. Mm-hmm. And you? Mm. Fine view. It's uh, much finer than any view I've ever seen. Perhaps you would like to go a little higher? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Auburn Payne! Higher! Hey, it's my sh- ship. <laughs> Creed Place. Please? <laughs> <laughs> All right, fine. All right! Higher! And uh, you see the c- 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 crew uh, start to scurry ab- 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 about. Um... You see uh, the first m- m- mate, Vamo, uh, uh, call up, aye, aye, Captain. You see uh, the bosun, Biggs, standing at the massive eternity fragment size shard that is keeping this ship aloft, um, and uh, he calls out an order. Um, he says, raising elevation! <laughs> you see the navigator wedge uh, standing at the scope lens, um, uh, keeping an eye uh, uh, on the horizon. You see the medic kit uh, keeping an eye on the horizon and the rest of the c- 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 crew uh, as they perform their d- 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 duties. And lastly, you see uh, Jest, the uh, very live, uh, very uh, c- c- capable and dastardly swashbuckler cook of the ship, just uh, uh, stirring a small pot in hand. Nice. Um, and they and they all say, "Aye, aye, Captain." 
you see uh, one figure that makes no sound, uh, whose name is not clear. What was, the, what was the first mate's name? Bamu. You see the, the, the ship rises higher and higher into the, the, the sky. Um, there is, in and amongst the clearness, uh, hardly a cloud to, to speak of, but there is a wisp of magical energy, a wisp of 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 arcane power that seems to be fading, but it gets more powerful as it's getting closer to its uh, source. Didya, you feel this. Mm -hmm. You feel this 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 energy uh, almost pulling at you, pulling you toward whatever is leaving this tr tr trail mm -hmm. ahead of you. Um, you take note that Vamo, the first mate, is a th 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 Thrin, and he too is paying close attention to this wisp of energy. Um, I will turn to, to Vamo and uh, he probably also has um, Aether markings like mine that are probably, you know, looking a little bit shinier or glowier than normal. And I'll be like, do you feel it too? I do. We're headed in that direction, right? Yes. Okay. I don't know why it's making me feel a little restless. Well, from what you and the captain have told us, it's likely him. Yeah. I think that's why I'm restless. It is okay to feel afraid. I mean, I wouldn't know anything about that. <laughs> Vamos! <laughs> However, you are m more than I will ever be. You are an icon. And right now, we are all counting on you. Being first mate's not easy either. Give yourself some credit. Oh, I didn't say anything of the sort. <laughs> um, and he walks away. And, <laughs> I love him! And continues on. Yeah, yeah, um, he's a person talker. Yeah. Uh, as, as, as he walks away, you, you, you hear that he has uh, sp sp spurs on his boots. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, my. Um, I'll see you, man. I see you. <laughs> <laughs> mm. We love a good cowboy. Gotta love a sea cowboy. Uh -huh. A sky sea a sky, cowboy? A sky cowboy. Yeah. So, you know that you are flying towards a, a b b b battle or a, a confrontation, however you want to interpret that. The... Um, the stakes are higher than they've ever been for any of you. It's not just um, the fate of one person or one place. It is the fate of everyone and everything. Uh, the burden, I can only imagine being uh, incredibly high on your shoulders. But the ship is heading in the right direction. You know that. You think about Sky, the 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 icon that you have shared memories with in the past. You think about the entity that he is now, and you can't help but wonder, is this what he wanted to become? Or did he fail in some way? And then you think about your own experiences as icons. And I want you each to think about a time, the first time as an icon that you did not succeed in the task. Just 
starting with Enosis. You didn't always feel this way, but um The Trogs are long lived, and many problems arise over generations. Eventually, the tide just becomes overwhelming. And I turn to island life, leaving behind civilization, councils, and bureaucracy. I ran to protect others on the edge of the frontier, turning back demons, for I had no taste for politics. But I realized as that taste turned to ash, that I'd run away from that battlefield, turned down that part of my being an icon. And that was the last time I ran from my problems. And I ran to all of you. You've taught me what it means to face them head on. I'm proud of that. Arnicus is going to put a claw on his shoulder. Say, thanks for sharing, buddy. We're proud of you. Ava. Um, well, uh, I come from a large family, as you can imagine. Youngest of 21. And in my village, there's always myths and um, um, tales of our family line being able to, to to heal people through our soup that we make. And um, this is also when I discovered I was an icon. I, uh, I was the youngest and I uh, was a little bit rebellious, had no uh, interest in the family business. And also, no one really would let me in the kitchen anyway. Uh, so I was sort of pushed aside and I kind of let, I let that happen. Uh, but I had this feeling the whole time that I, I, I could be the one that would be able to make something really special, really heal people. And for generations, our, n nobody was an icon. No one, no one could actually create healing soup. It sort of died down. But I had a feeling I knew how to do it. And it was like, not an intellectual knowing, but like a full soul knowing. And uh, so anyway, I, I rebelled a bit, and didn't really pay much attention to my family, didn't spend a lot of time with them when I was younger, because I didn't feel included in everything. And then um, my, there was a, a, a very, uh, like a plague that came on our village, and a lot of people got very, very sick, including my mom. And uh, I remember having the feeling that I could be able to help her but my pride got in the way and she ended up dying. And it was only then that I got in the kitchen and started making my healing soups. And I realized if I had maybe not let my pride get in the way or spoken up for myself a bit more, I might've been able to save her. <laughs> oh. <laughs> So salty. Am I wiping away a tear? I can't tell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Just poking myself in the <laughs> <laughs> Barnicus. So Barnicus looks very uncomfortable about talking about it. But then after a second, he looks up and all of his mandibles kind of peel back. And he has a normal mouth under there. And he's just been talking weird because he thinks it's funny. And then what? his knack kicks in. It's called the Mockingbird, and he can imitate voices. Uh, and so he speaks to you in the voice of someone close to you, like maybe it's your teacher or like your father or your grandmother who taught you how to cook. And he's like, the, on my third job, I was called to this town really high, remote in the mountains. And all the townspeople were sick with something we'd never seen before. Uh, and it turned out that all of the children in the town were forced to work in this collapsed ark and ruin because they were the only ones who were small enough to get in there. And they had to 
you know, scavenged little bits of tech and shards. They had no childhood, you know, like definitely no toys in their lives. And most of them had injuries, but it turned out that the reason everyone was sick is because they had unearthed a uh, corrupted shard and they were all sick from exposure. And we tried to negotiate with the mine owners and they sealed the kids in the mine saying, or in, in the ruin saying that they'd be let out if we left them alone to run their business how they ran their business. And we attacked and we collapsed the ruin. Oh. We almost killed all of those kids. And then it turned out that the mine owners ran all of the supplies up to the town. So they cut the town's supplies in half as a punishment to the town for what we had done. And we couldn't do anything. They were just too powerful. Uh, so I learned from then on that unplanned, unmitigated attack is not how I would approach things. So if you wonder why I make weapons out of toys or why, uh, you know, I spend my time protecting Aphis children, it's because that day, I finally found my porpoise. Beautiful. Beautiful. You proud of yourself? <laughs> Just a little. I, I'm, I gotta admit, I'm proud of him this time. <laughs> it was well done. I'm mad at you, but it was very well done. Oh. Seamless. Seamless, Seamless. Baby. Beautiful. Beautiful. Hats off. <laughs> Did you? Yeah. Um, you you have you haven't been an icon for very long. No. And it's been an even shorter amount of time since you've accepted your role. Yeah. As an icon. True that. Um, I think Vidya uh, Vidya thinks for a little bit, and she goes, "Not long after I, I left Haven's Ledge, I'm." I'd hopped on and I was told, go out in the world, find your purpose, and then come back like a, like a good chronicler should. And uh, hopped on an airship, not definitely nothing like this airship, it was just a little something. And uh, traveled around, and uh, I think one of the, the first villages that I stopped at, they were like, oh good, you're, you're, you're a chronicler, you're, you're, you're a sealer, um, and you're an icon. And I was like, I, I'm, I'm, I'm really not. And they were like, no, but you are. Come, you must come with us. And they had some sort of um, ritual that they needed a sealer to conduct. But I hadn't finished reading my books yet. And I didn't really know all of the steps. So the ritual kind of backfired. It didn't go so well. There was like smoke and like, I don't know. It was kind of a mess. Um, Needless to say, that village was not happy with me, and I kind of, I was so embarrassed, I just ran off, honestly. Like, I just, I, I just left, because I just couldn't, I didn't know what to do. And I didn't believe in myself at all, because, well, what good's a sealer that can't even seal? But as I started to, you know, practice and figure out what I did right and wrong, I was able to start to figure out how my, my sealing magic works, and well, then all this happened, and now I'm an actual icon. And I believe it now, for once. And maybe someday I'll go back and make things right if that village will have me again. Hopefully. I, uh, left my a ride at the altar uh, to go uh, on a job, not not even an icon job. A, uh, uh, it was just a job for m m m money to excavate an ark in r r r r ruin. I thought then that I was like, oh, I was doing it for her, for us, but then I realized that uh, I was running away. I was afraid. You look b b behind you and you see Kit, uh, the tiny, uh, the smallest uh, wolfkin uh, that, uh, that y y you've ever seen, uh, but c c c 
clearly like uh, um, adult aged. Uh, the medic of the ship is just kind of like sneakily made his way into the circle of the four of you, and it's just sharing now. It's like I, like I don't want to blame my dad. Right? Mm, oh boy, yeah, that's. But, no, sometimes I do. <laughs> you blame your dad too? No, your dad. <laughs> oh. Uh, 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 oh. I should get. I, I'll get back. Yeah. I'll, yeah. I'll get back. Uh, and he gets back to his job, uh, uh, leaving you a little bit bewildered uh, uh, with him. Was that the medic? That was that. It's so quiet. Did you notice he eats a double portion like me? Wow. Oh, and? No, where does it all go? <laughs> that little. Maybe he had the very high metabolism. What's, never mind. Huh. You hear a uh, wedge, the uh, the navigator call out from the top balcony. Sight ho! And uh, you, okay. Freud? <laughs> 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 you chose those words. I did. I did. You know who was at the table. I do. I do. <laughs> <clears throat> um, at his call, uh, you, <laughs> you, uh, you, um, you see what he's c- c- calling out for. At first, you think you maybe have caught up to the first icon, but you don't see anything in the sky except for a plume of black smoke. And you look down at the land that it's coming from. It is coming from high atop a mountain as you pass over Aetherheim. You see that the city that you were just at um, a mere few days ago has a massive burning scar slashed in between it as if it was cut with a giant blade. Is is it like a, like a like the the city has been slashed in half, or is it like a complete crater? Like the the left? city has been slashed in half. Okay. Oy. Fires rage on b- 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 below, and as if to read your thoughts, Arburn Payne says, "We can't stop." Faster. Uh. The b- 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 bigs. Uh, 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 hears you may make that call, but you're not the captain. So he looks up, and and uh, and Auburn goes <clears throat> faster, and he right oh captain, <laughs> and you see the the gem, and <laughs> you make quick work through the s- sky. The um. The amount of time it will take you to catch up to uh, to um, to to s- 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 sky the first icon, um, it's it's uh, it's basically being measured uh, by a c- 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 clock, which I have here. I'm gonna put four notches on the clock, giving each of you time to prepare for the battle ahead. Um, um, in, are, oh. are we following um, like a hunch or do we, can we see him? You are following a tr- tr- trail, a tr- trail of, 
of energy uh, that is barely f visible to m most of you, but is clearly f visible to Vidya and uh, Vamo, the first m m m m m m m m mate. I'm going to ask my group, do you want me to um, use my heart sight to see him and where he's at and what he's doing? Or do you want to just continue on this path? Well, let's do some spying. Do doesn't, some that, spying? Doesn't, doesn't hurt to know what's going on, yeah. Jess, but before you make that roll, I would like to acknowledge that we have a couple of boons. That's right, you're away. Thank you. Thank yeah. you very much to... Uh, let me see here. Fox and Fancy and Ratzel. Hey, Bestie. As we thank you acknowledge the flow of aether in the sky, bending towards your favor. So, how are each of you? Preparing for the battle. Then. So I'm, yeah, I'm gonna. Um, I don't need to roll for it. It's just a bond power I have. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to close my eyes and for one minute view any place in Arden Alps. So I'm gonna view where uh, Sky is. Mm -hmm. uh, I can see it and hear everything, but I can't move or I cannot communicate during this time. Okay. Yeah. Um, you go into your trance like date. And you begin to zoom out, which is interesting from the current perspective that you're at. You've never d d d d d done that from this high up in the sky. <laughs> and you are able to, from your vantage point, go to a number of places rapidly. <laughs> you take a look at another trading out post. It is intact. He's not there. <laughs> you cut to the dark forest in the east. There is no sign of him. <laughs> and then you see him. You see a, a blinking light in the sky and you hone in on it. Um, you see that he has uh, flying through the the the, the sky uh, in 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 a, a, at such a rapid speed that only a ship like yours could possibly catch up t t to him in t t time, uh, being held aloft by uh, a single b b b burning crystal wing emerging from his back. Um, holding in, in his hand a massive, some might say absurdly large, uh, sword <laughs> burning with aether energy. Uh, his path is clear, and you push past him to see what lay next in his path. It is the settlement of Haven's l l l l l l Ledge. <gasps> Your hometown! Oh, fuck. They're taking the hobbits to Isengard. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh huh. Um, okay, so I, I can see I can see that he's on a clear path there. Okay. Okay. Do you want me to give you a quick description of Haven's Ledge? Sure. Yes, please. Um, Haven's Ledge is called such because it is uh, right next to a ginormous waterfall. It's on the edge of a cliff that overlooks this large waterfall, and that is that is the Haven, and this is the ledge. Um, in Haven's Ledge, it is a it is a chronicler-based town with a a with a a tall tower. Think like. Um, like like a Colosseum or a Leaning Tower of Pizza, but like vertical and not leaning. Um, 
you know, that kind of architecture with the archways and everything. Um, and that stands right at the edge of the ledge and outside from it kind of outcropping on the in inward inland is, is the small settlement of the town and the trading outpost. And there's a couple of small little like, almost like dearth paths that lead to and from, like one this way and one this way, uh, away from the edge of the ledge, if you will. Um, and that's it. It's just small. It's just a, a, a town with a tower and a beautiful waterfall that just sings you to sleep. Mm. So I guess <clears throat> I don't think I, I don't think I've been there before. No. So I wouldn't know what it's called, but I would turn to the group and describe it. And in that moment, you'd realize that it's your hometown. Um, you see Midia's face just like fall in in horror and she just like like one of her hands like suddenly just clutches the railing of the ship and her knuckles are white and she's like are you sure that's that's Haman's ledge that's my home well there's nothing there's nothing there it's just a chronicler tower and it's just a library I don't think he cares we gotta get there fast He's on a mission. Are He's you, moving really Are quick. you sure there's no reason he would be headed there? Well, I mean, it's, it's, it's a chronicler tower, so I mean, we obviously, we have arc and technology that we were we were studying and understanding and trying to, to break down or duplicate and replicate. I mean, mm. it's, it's a big tower. There's a lot of different departments under one roof. <clears throat> It's also a, 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 a holding place. Like, like there's a small, like, prison part. Um, chronicler towers are, are are part religious, part science, part education, part prison, sometimes. Interesting. That, that's what the book said. Don't, don't, don't look at me. Don't at me. <laughs> so maybe... They probably hold bad things. Yeah. So. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, so... Okay. He, he probably doesn't want... Yeah, that's the problem. Anybody working on Arkintech? Uh, should, I'm gonna tell uh, a wedge. The na is that the navigator? No. It uh, is. Yeah, nav. I'm gonna yep. tell wedge that that's where we're going. If there's any, if they know any faster routes, but yep. that's where we're going. Yeah. Um. He. <laughs> um, uh. Interesting. So, if with your sense of perspective you can essentially help him get there faster. I want you to tell me what you're going to roll to make that happen. Hmm. Uh, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to roll sense because okay. I haven't been there before, mm -hmm. but I can get a sense of what's going on. And I'm going to use my knack because I get a knack for sensing, sensing past tracks, uh, Metaphysical objects, the flow of magic. Love that. Uh, so I'm gonna use, use my knack for that. Okay. Uh, this is going to be a medium check here. So you want in that four. Four and a five. Amazing. Um, yes. So you um, you uh, you not only tell him where it is. And he says, "Oh, I can get us there." Uh, and you tell him, like, like almost like a shortcut, which is wild to think of in the in the sky. But with um, with uh, with where the way your senses were going, you don't just see um, uh, where everything is. You feel it too. So that flow of magic. That sense of that, it reveals a slipstream in the air, uh, and you point that out to him. No. And uh, and uh, and he says, "Are you sh sh sure?" Yeah, I'm a bloody icon. Do it. <laughs> uh, the captain says, y y "You y you heard her." Uh, <laughs> he starts uh, he starts uh, spinning the large dial around the lens in front of him. Uh, the different m m nodes forming the c coordinates to just bank into the sl slipstream and and f flow flow in. Uh, once those c c coordinates are locked in, Auburn Payne just takes the the the, 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 the hold of the helm and and you feel the, the, the ship. 
as it cuts through and soars through. And uh, um, Auburn uh, says, um, says, Papamo, and he says, Papamo. And, uh, <laughs> um, and, and sh- she says, um, overcharge. And he goes, it's our last one. And she goes, just d- 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 do it. I he can, says, I can help with that. He says, yes, Captain. I can help with that. He says, do it. I have a thing. I have a thing. I have a thing. Do it. It's called Lightspeed. Uh, once per session, my next reverse action has super powered effect. And if you'll allow me to, to, to twist this a little bit and add a little flavor, I'm thinking that Vidya approaches the Eternity Fragment on the ship. Mm-hmm. And instead of like a traverse action, she casts sealer magic with her emotions and longing to go home. Mm-hmm. And that that will hopefully give the, the super powered effect. Okay. Yeah. All right. So uh, it's still going to be a rule. Yeah, that's right. That's All right. right. That's right. You, you can uh, y- use the ab- b- b- ability to ma- make it happen. I yeah. want to roll to see if certain things happen around it. Okay. Um, so he says, come with me. And you go uh, down into the d- 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 deck, uh, or rather b- 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 below deck, uh, into the engine room where the where the where, where the other half of this eternity frag- fragment is being held. Okay. Um, you see like the w- 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 workings of this engine of this ship, and it is blowing your mind. Dang. Um, uh, and you see that there are boxes of shards around you, some small, some large, that seem to be fed into a furnace-like device that keeps this one charged. And then you see the the, uh, shard that was stolen out from under you (gasps) from Aetherheim. This goose bag. <laughs> and and he says, I do not know what this word is. Don't worry about Goose it. Bag. Don't worry about it. Don't don't. It's fine. But this is the last one that we have. When we overcharge the ship, we will go. How do you say? Very fast. <laughs> I love this man so much. I want to spin off with him. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do you, do you, do you want me to? I can I can en- try and enchant the crystal. How so? I I have sealer magic. Mm-hmm. And I'm hoping that if I put some of my magic into this crystal, we're going to my hometown. So if I put my magic into this crystal, maybe it'll make us go doubly fast. We will see if the ship can handle it. I am excited to find out. <laughs> Um, he uh, takes the cart that the uh, that the the shard is on, and just and it almost like plugs into the the the, the fra- fragment uh, that is uh, the ship, um, and you see as it gets closer, like electrical surges and like spindly like uh, wisps of energy and cool particle effects from the the PlayStation 1 era all (laughs) merge and pull these two fragments together. If there was a time to cast this magic, it would be now. Okay. Yeah. That's a five. Hell yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you you take this like raw um, uh, 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 energy and you start to bend and weave it into a a feel. So it starts to take the familiar forms of the the, uh, geometric patterns that form your magical energy and then separate, reconfigure, lock, and the, the two lock in. You see this the, the 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 charge from the the shard pouring into the fragment spinning it counter spinning it and uh the c- c- captain above deck sees this happen 
And she says, hang on. <laughs> I, How is everyone going to hang on? Oh, no. I'm, I'm, um, I, uh, I, I do a little uh, whistle um, with my big two front teeth. Mm -hmm. um, it's very high. Uh, uh, so, so all the bunnies can hear it. Uh, and that's their, that's their signal to, to come back into my bag. So I get just 19 bunnies crawling out of every crevice they've gone into. Amazing. Um, yeah. Okay, they, uh, uh, and uh, you see George, he's like, I'm coming. Oh, he, he, he's like, the air is actually doing really better for my sinus as well. Yeah, you sound better, honey. Thanks. And he oh, climbs Georgie. in also. Uh, um, oh. Would like to acknowledge uh, Rhett Seb with one more boon for the boon. Thanks. Mr. Boon, dust it. Uh, this isn't this isn't your fault, but I want to let you think it is. Uh, <laughs> I'd also like to uh, 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 yeah. thank D D D D D Dump Truck for yeah. the curse. Oh. Yeah, that's that's fair. Shaggy yeah. As, should be reserved for only very special times. As we <laughs> watch the flow. I mean, of I did Aether. think Mr. Boontastic was pretty great. Thank you. Ben, in I mean, you would. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm obligated to support. <laughs> hey, it wasn't me. Oh, yeah. oh, I'm giving you minus one just because. <laughs> You're not a demon. Huh? <laughs> I'm just a regular dude. <laughs> or is so has his own boundaries when it comes to shaking. <laughs> Questline, Shaggy. Yeah. If you're around, <laughs> yeah. 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 Is Shaggy into RPGs? Let's find out. <laughs> what else is he doing these days? <laughs> Amazing. Also, Rhett Zev, thank, thank you very, very much for the thousand bits. Uh, I am sure uh, that is go going to come in handy for our players here. Maybe not. But That's my best friend, y'all. Oh. <clears throat> Um, Barnicus is just gonna scuttle over to the nearest railing and like his extra arms kind of kind of kind of like wrap yes. around the railing and just watch Auburn Payne pilot the ship. Are, are you are yeah. you gonna make like a barnacle? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> awesome. Yeah. And stick to shit. So you so you <laughs> you hunker down <laughs> and sorry. watch her from from the. the, 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 the below as she braces herself getting ready like with like a, a frightening smile on her face oh, of like yeah <laughs> um uh you you've gotten the kitties in and you are are hunkering down as well as as uh securely as you can i'm sitting right here Find my hammer on the ground and just hold on. Oh. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Are you still b b b b b below deck then? Me? Yeah. Oh. Okay. You are b b b b b below d deck casting this m m m m m m m m m m magic. Um, you're going to have to just plant your, your, your feet as tight as you can and Not a problem. have a go. I She's want each of you full of to make a roll and tell me what that roll is to brace yourself as the ship goes into the slipstream. That's the first push. Uh, and the ship rattles around, and then the the, the overcharge kicks kicks in, and um, uh, a sp uh, I, I guess uh, it, it, to to allude to uh, uh, future games coming down the the, the pipe at a quest line here. The, the ship almost stretches oh. before it yes. kicks in with a flash of light into a level of speed that I can't think of, but it almost warps speed around you. Um, yes. What would each of you like to roll to uh, hold on? I'm gonna use Traverse, but I'm also gonna use my knack because my knack is about sensing 
forces and paths and tracks. So like, I feel like she's, uh, she understands the flow, right? Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. And she's in, in, in tune with the flow. Mm -hmm. yeah. Not so much her words today, but uh, the flow. Sorry, it's because you're in the zone. <laughs> I'm in the zone. Oh, I got a six. Hey. Okay. You succeed in hanging on. Sweet. Your 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 ears are the bag on on your back is you 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 hear all the kids in the back go. Yeah. <laughs> but now as they bustle around, they yeah. all have the crab gear on. So yeah. It's like a clink, 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 clink. <laughs> clink, clink, clink. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, at first, I think um, of just standing stoically and that my presence on the ship is meant to be here. And then I remember the Malibu stew. <laughs> oh no. And then if you use all of your strength at the beginning, you'll have nothing for the end. Mm. And so I hold on and endure. Mm. Nice. Uh, five. You um, kind of like hold on, br 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 bracing with your hammer and you, need to activate the hammer as like the lightning bolts like lick lick into the d d d deck and prevent you from dragging back as you hang on I'm a daddy. Uh, yeah. Hammer daddy. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that was a choice. Uh, it got me. You, uh, uh, as, as you're hanging on, getting pulled back, uh, you see B B B Biggs at the crystal going, just the, the wind <laughs> rushing into his face, and he looks at you and tears streaming <laughs> past his eyes, and he's like, <laughs> I'm almost sorry, but I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he he doesn't do this all the time, but this is what he lives for. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, Barnacus. Uh, Barnacus is gonna use all his crabbly splendor to endure this uh, yes. fast yes. pace. Uh, and he's trying to, you know, charm uh, Auburn Payne up there. So he's like holding on with most arms, but this one's still like. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, it's a five, one five. So let me get this straight. <laughs> You're using a charm roll. Uh, no, I'm gonna use endure. Oh, sorry, yeah, sorry, sorry, yes. Yeah. Okay, sorry, I heard charm, charm, and I was like, yeah. You're using a charm roll to hang on and make it look good so you can. <laughs> That's impressive. Yeah. No, okay. <laughs> that is his second priority. <laughs> yes, okay. And endure the speed. Okay. Try and So. It's just for the shell of it, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Not you two. Um, <laughs> so, uh, want to, you you succeed in, 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 in hanging on. Uh, because you didn't roll a six, I'm going to say that your charm roll is going to be difficult. Oh, 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 and I'm gonna roll for charm. Okay, this Do is fun. Uh, while you make that roll, I would like to acknowledge some more uh, redemptions here. Um, we have another boon from, from Retsev. So thank you very much. Uh, the flow of, of Aether is very potent with the spell being cast and the and, and the slipstream that you're in, so quite That's a lot of Day happening. two flow, you know? <laughs> <laughs> get it, you get it. It's strong. It's um, rolling like thunder. Strong, yeah. Okay, uh, hold on, sorry, I'm trying to keep track sorry. of everything that's happening here. Uh, I'm holy honest. shit, we got a hype train! <laughs> Just in time holy for my shit. period, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Okay, uh, so that is the boom that you just received there. Mm -hmm. I would like to thank very much Lawful Good Dad for the Best dad. curse. Ah, uh, we love you. <laughs> Even though you're hurting us. <laughs> Lawful Good Dad. I would uh, like to thank uh, Fox and Fancy uh, hey. for one more Right. Hello, right. Is there like a battle? Yeah, we're gonna run out of space in the Twitch chat right now. I mean, it, it is a That's... very, it is a very 
turbulent event. That, that's like my head cannon. There's I'm a enjoying battle enjoying happening. This. this is great. Uh, point, and, point, point, point. <laughs> uh, and uh, I think that is it for now. Oh, and we have uh, that that uh, Hytrin is at level three, so that's pretty. Good rep. Thank you very much. Uh, I get passionate. I'm sorry. Um, and uh, would like to. Uh, well, I, I I don't I don't have to, but I think you should give a very special Special thanks to Born and Craze <gasps> for the. Oh. DJ Born and Craze! DJ Born and Craze! <laughs> that is now accessible uh. to to uh, anyone <laughs> of you. Woohoo! Yeah. Sure, thank you. So, you were hanging on for dear life. You succeeded at that. Uh, did you roll your charm? Not yet. Uh, just a reminder, if there's two pips in there, you roll one dice plus two dice. Is that correct? You, you roll you, two dice total. You, you, you roll two dice total. Six and a five. Amazing. You have so, never looked hotter. Yeah. So, so like, oh, you, I know. You are, you're, you're. <laughs> I like what I like. <laughs> <laughs> you are you are uh, uh, hanging on, and at first it looks like you're going to fly away, and then you kind of like maintain and like lock your joints into your shell. So it looks like you're you're doing like the like Superman oh, flag yeah, pull, flag. Oh. right? Yeah. Uh, and she's she's like pat pat. Piloting the, the the main the main war deftly and and she manages to look down and see you and you just go yeah and you go she's like hmm yeah that's cool yeah barks cool like, yar <laughs> just gonna bomb that later yeah <laughs> um okay and. Uh, lastly, Hello. how are you hanging on? Um, because Vidya is standing below deck and uh, busy casting, she's going to use sense um, because it's kind of like she's kind of, because her focus is here, she's relying on the rest of her senses to, I just dropped a die, rest in peace. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to find it later. Um, uh, she's going to use her senses to, to try and keep herself upright so that she doesn't fall over while casting. Mm -hmm. And I think that was a, a die that loved me too, five. Amazing. Yeah, yeah. Right. so you I lost one. loves you too. The, the, the other one was a one. That one don't love me. <laughs> so you're you're maintaining this uh sailor spell um so so uh, uh uh accurately that you you even managed to like when you're when you're taking yeah. something that you're holding with two hands and you realize you can hold it with one for a short amount of oh. time. And you kind of do that and like, it starts to like spin and you counter spin, spin it. And you, then you like take your your, your uh, other hand and draw the sigil in and I plant it at your feet and it just <laughs> and locks you in. Uh, cool. That's that, so cool. That seal will be burned into the planks of wood for, for all time Graffiti. and then you and then you like raise your 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 hand back up and <laughs> sorry everybody <laughs> uh babamo sees sees that happen he's hanging on uh he, he goes i won't tell thank you <laughs> uh, <laughs> um okay uh, we have a lot of action in the chat right now. Yeah! Uh, that, that I am just going to, I, I will say, I will get to it, but we will have to uh, pace ourselves a bit here. Keep, you keep We love you, chat. Thank you. Yeah, okay. It will happen. Uh, amazing. <laughs> okay. Uh, it says LFG. Find it. LFG! 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 Okay, so. Um, the, the, the ship is, the ship is soaring through this slipstream, being pushed, uh, uh, by, by, uh, by magical energy. Uh, you can even see, like, like, the rattling of things. I don't want to touch this because it's so beautiful. So but, but you can see the rattling of cords and some of the planks and boards are starting to come up. Oh, boy. Uh, the, the wings on, on either side. Uh, and Auburn Pan goes, hold, hold on. And then, as you emerge uh, from 
uh, from this uh, from this amazing speed, uh, magical speed, you're still going incredibly fast through the sl- slipstream, turbulent as as it is, um, and uh, you see Auburn Payne spin out uh, uh, of it and cut out just be before the ship really starts taking any meaningful damage. A job well done, everyone. As you close your your seals, you see all of the magical energy from that shard is gone. And the and and the fragment that is keeping this ship aloft is pulsing almost hot Dang. from from the, the the amount of aether that it burned through. Um, as you bank out, you see a familiar landscape in front of you. Uh, this uh, hype train is at an all-time high right now. <gasps> I, I, I want to thank you all uh, and bring you all back in as we see um, the quaint but b- b- beautiful landscape far b- 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 below that is um, that is Haven's ledge. The um, uh, beautiful vista uh, that the that the paths cut through. And then you all look up to where you are and you see just the twinkle of light, this burning, determined aether energy. That is the first icon. Scotch. Oh my God. He sees you before you see him and he regards you. He regards the ship, of course, but then he regards the four of you, icons. There is a connection felt between him and the four of you. You've shared memories of his, and he regards you with a look of familiarity as um, he, his one burning wing uh, shimmering brightly just dims ever so slightly as he and descends towards you, still hovering over the the ship, maintaining pace with it. And he looks at the four of you and he says, why have you come? Oh, I don't know if we should lie to him or not. We saw what you did to Aetherheim. The city in the mountains. Yes. That place existed in my time also. It was a beacon for for the Arkham. Many terrible things happened there. But they're not happening anymore. That town below, that's my hometown and nothing terrible is happening there. I grew up there. There are books in those halls. Those books contain knowledge that will invariably lead to the doom of Arden Eld. You don't know that. I do know that. I have seen it. I was there. Things are different now. I'm not remembering the phrase properly, but uh, I want to say something along the lines of, um, you know that uh, any kind of um, movement is bad when they start burning books. Um, so I, 
trying to get him to remember like like you're against this this this, this horrible um well, what is it called like the Arkan Empire this horrible empire that brought so much pain um, but the first step of becoming that yourself is burning the books I became what I had to become I will not burn b- 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 books to forge a new empire. I will cut down any seed of empire before it can g- 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 germinate again. And then I will go back and r- 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 rest. And if it must happen again, it will. Again and again, so that Arden Eld and the eternity fragment within her can be whole. So you're the only creature that can exist then, that's what you're saying? No. Well, that's what you're doing though, you're burning down everything here. You're making it so that you're the only one that exists. How is that fair? That's not what Ardenald wants. I don't need to exist if this doesn't rise up again. There are other ways to live in Arden Eld, but as soon as you use Arkan tech, it only leads to doom and blood. You're you're creating doom and blood. A necessary evil. That that's probably what the Arkan Empire said too. Don't you see? No, they didn't see themselves as evil. I know the words they spoke into my ears when I was young. You're just as bad as them, mate. I see. Though you inherit the title of Icon, you are misguided and lost as well. So be it. Are we the ones that have lost our way or is it you? Look around you. Where are you? You're standing at the ledge of a waterfall, a small tower. There's nothing here. You... We have existed for thousands of years without the Arkan Empire, peacefully here in Ardeneld. This you... place in my time was a sprawl. Is it a sprawl now? It has changed, has it not? It is beneath it, and it will rise. It is how the Arkan designed it. It will come back, and I will cut it down before it can. Our time here, uh, uh, my time, our time here was finite. The kin of Arden Eld live and die. It is a gift and a privilege, the short time that we have. But the Arkin. They sought immortality, and when their technology comes back, others will too. The only thing that can provide it is the very life source of Arden Eld herself. I had to watch her nearly to die, and I will not. We will not again. This is the true purpose of icons. The inevitable con- c- conclusion. Will you stand by and watch, or will you try to stop me? Those are your options. Both we're going to have to try to stop you. One more time, before you do this, no seed grows the same way twice. I think with your knowledge as the first icon, you can help a new world rise where we use Ark and Tech in a way that's harmonious with the world. You know how to do that. Don't get rid of all of your knowledge and kill everything around you because you will end up the only thing that exists. You're, you'll live in a ruined world all by yourself and you'll have nothing to protect them. And that is exactly what the Arkin did to my ancestors, the Titans. They wiped them from the face of Arkaneld. You would do the same. The Titans. 
much before our, my, his time. The first icon died a long time ago. I am but the remnant of his will manifest. If you would stand before me to oppose me, so be, 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 be it. With that, you see him, the burning wing shine brightly again, and he raises up into the sky, holding the burning sword aloft, getting ready to cut you down. And that is where we're going to take a quick break. <gasps> oh, shit. Oh. Already? What? Where we're just came an hour and a half. We're 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 going to take a, a a very brief uh b- b- break and come back for the epic thrilling con- c- conclusion of Eternity Fragment 2. Stick around, we'll be right back. Yeah. Hi, train! Hi. Hi. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Questline for the uh, second half of our epic finale of Eternity Fragment 2. Before we jump back into the game itself, I would like to make some uh, 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 some quick acknowledgments. First of all, this game wouldn't... Uh, uh, sound as amazing as it does w- 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 without the 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 the, uh, the fucking cutting hands of the, on, on on the ones and twos of DJ Born and Craze. <laughs> Woo! Uh, uh, also, big sh- sh- shout out to uh, Gotti, uh, DJ Help. Pelvis uh, for uh, uh, making, uh, comp- composing original tracks for this g- g- game uh, 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 in uh, 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 a perfectly apt uh, theme for our JRPG style. Yeah. Uh, as you can see, see we we have uh, this amazing ship in front of us, courtesy of our minis d- 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 department. So shout out to Ch- Chelsea and t- 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 Tim uh, for doing an amazing job uh, uh, on the main war. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, um, uh, and and as well, uh, thanks to Tim for uh, 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 helping build maps uh, in in Tailspire, the v- v- virtual tabletop app that we use for the first three episodes of this g- 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 game. Y'all absolutely killed killed it. Uh, this uh, superb uh, um, boon and curse c- c- counter here uh, that was made by our our props to. Department really gets you into the uh, Final Fantasy VII meets Final Fantasy IX vibe. So thank you to, 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 to Julian and Props um, and the amazing sets that that we, we've been uh, uh, that we've been able to immerse ourselves into this world. And so uh, an extra special thanks to uh, Kirby and Josh, who also got to be our players in the cutscenes, which I will shout out at the end of the game. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, And now, let's begin the end. (gasps) Okay. Oh, I got the (laughs) heebie-jeebies. The first icon, once known as Sky, now uh, gone or seemingly so, uh, all that is left of him, at least on the exterior, is a twisted version of the will and intent that uh, carried him in his life to bring down the Arkham Empire that has now consumed him, embedded in 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 him through uh, the shards of the eternity fragment that had fused to him. He now 
floats over you. Uh, his uh, burning will uh, moments ago aimed at your home, did ya? Now aimed at the four of you and the rest of those who are on the ship and even the ship itself. There is a lot at stake here. We have begun the, 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 the battle. What would you like to do? Defensive positions, and I shut up into a new stance. Mm -hmm. Royal Guard stance. Oh. This will allow me to protect a greater area from harm from the sky. Amazing. You um, assume this stance with a with like a, a spin and f flourish of of your hammer. Uh, b Barely wieldable by 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 any other kin with its uh, size and heft, and then you plant it down, and there's a charge around you, and you hold guard. Is that your turn? It's everything. Okay, I like that. Who's next? What if? Hmm. Since since, Ooh, since you I mentioned like earlier, uh -huh. since you mentioned earlier that at our last location in the Misty Valley, there were uh, relics to be found. There were. I wonder what I could have picked up, and I wonder how do you feel about battle fans? <laughs> Not as a game master, not <laughs> as uh, uh, in, in a role play sense, playing one of these characters here, just me, Alain, as a person, <laughs> feels so good about the battle fest. <laughs> Tell me more. Um, I, would, I would love the, the, the relic that Vidya picked up to be these, <laughs> Maybe this is a, a reference to another future thing happening. Mm -hmm. But uh, these larger than life battle fans that she kind of like pulls out from behind her, one in each hand, and they unfurl. And um, she has inscribed like sealer sigils on them so that they can be enchanted. But they also look a little sharp. Like, you know, maybe. Kitana wins. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm not saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> Amazing. Um, yeah, and I think she is kind of readying an action, and I think she just kind of looks at Sky and she goes, "Come at me, because I'm not going to let you move forward with this." You face the, the the icon, the first icon, Sky, or what is left of him. You draw the fans and unfurl them in, in your hand. What n normally makes the flicking sound of fat, fat fabric instead makes the sound of plates of sharpened metal. Each one engraved with blessings to those who wield it and curses to any who would stand in your way. Perhaps the uh, hopes and dreams of the icon who once held them hundreds of years ago before f f falling to the, the aspect of b b blades. And they shine mm -hmm. with magical energy in your hand. What would you like t to do with these fans? Um, I think for the moment, she's kind of pulling a, a, a thought from Minosis's playbook. Um, and she's kind of doing a taunt, basically. Uh, and she is hoping to get Skye's attention on her and to get Skye to come at her. 
Okay. Um, what would you like to roll to make that happen? Can I argue charm? Yes. yes. This is going to be. Yes. This is going to be difficult. Aye, <laughs> aye. That's that's fair. I'm gonna <clears> that. This uh, this uh, <laughs> this entity is pretty uh, pretty yeah. unflappable. We got a lot of boons. And then we got a lot of boons. We got a lot of love from chat. So can I can I can I can I can I can I redeem a boon? You sure can. That is one boon redeemed. Yeah, However, you. because we have so many b- boons right now, there is literally no change. Yeah. <laughs> What are you Thanks, trying to pull? <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you, child. We love you. A five. Okay. So, you taunt him, and he casts his gaze at you. And you see that where there was once maybe a sliver of a conscious being that you were t- t- talking to a wave of magical energy goes over him, uh, cuts through the the shards that, that are embedded in, in his b- 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 body and flesh, and, and his eyes go pure white. Whatever or whomever you were negotiating with is gone, and you see just a pulse of his w- 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 will and intent. You have his attention. Take one point of strain. Got it. Ooh. Who's next? I got a plan. What's up? So, um, this was a uh, thought of off camera, but today in our warm up, uh, we're talking about different gifts I've given to my children. Mm hmm. <laughs> Um, and I, I think at one point, um, I got, there were just so many of them, um, that I got leashes for all of them. So we were, we were talking about this earlier, you know, like little kid leashes. Yeah. I like, I, I thought about that, I just... thought about that very b- 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 briefly, but we were in the middle of the exercise, so I didn't want to say anything. And I'm like, that's not a gift for them. That's a gift for you. <laughs> Right. They played jump rope with them when they had fun. They had yeah. Fun. <laughs> yeah, but at one point, uh, uh, I, I, we, I got these leashes. They're like braided hemp, uh, very, very strong. Um, and so what I want to do, <laughs> tell me if I can, um, is uh, I'm going to whip out all 19 leashes and uh, using my um, mother sense of uh, you're doing something wrong, come here right now. Uh, I'm going to try and uh, whip them onto his sword and pull it away from him. Okay. That is very cool. Tell me what you would like to roll to make that happen. Um, that's a great question. (laughs) Uh, I would like to use... I would argue for Excel, but it is up to you. You just need to tell me what and how. I feel like this is such an accurate, this is like a accurate throw. I'm gonna use Tinker. Okay. Uh, okay. So it's yeah, manipulating yeah. the objects to get what I, you know, I feel like that's a Tinker thing. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm definitely gonna use a Boon. Okay. Um, boon is spent. I have to mark them down on paper now because uh, the Boon is spent. Um, you know what, and I'm going to, I'm gonna push as well and use an effort. Yeah. Um, because this is, uh, I don't have a lot of like melee. <laughs> mm-hmm. So this is kind of a, this is a big one. All right. Got this. Good Let's vibes go. only. Go. I got a five. All right. Okay. You succeed in this. You manage to like tie all of the ends to one and make like a a slip knot that will latch onto your wrist and hold tight. And then they kind of splay out and you whip them around and lash them out. And they latch onto his blade and the, the hand holding it. It takes all of your m- might to hang on. 
and he casts back at you and then just flinches. And with that, a burning surge of energy <laughs> cascades to down all 19 st- strands and into your hand. Mm-hmm. You can continue to hang on, but as long as you do, you will take a point of strain each t- 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 turn. Um, with that, he casts his gaze back at you. I'm holding on for now. <clears throat> okay. As you hold on, I like reach out with my aura now in this stance and just go, can hang on longer and take that strain for you. Yes. Woo-hoo. Yes, daddy. Amazing. <laughs> Put a hammer on that name, okay? No, it's wrong. It's hammer dad. <laughs> We're getting more boons. We're getting more boons and curses than I know what to do with. (laughs) Come on down. (laughs) Thank you, chat. So while all of this is happening, uh, Barnacus has been, you know, bent over Crab Lido. He stands up with him in his uh, six gun form. And you notice that since last time, it's gotten even a little bit bigger. It was a six gun with a barrel, and now it's starting to look a little bit Tommy gunish. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's gonna initiate an ability called Strafe Shot, and he dashes, attacks, and then dashes. So he's going to dash across the deck. He's going to make one shot, and then he's gonna dash again and end up behind uh, the crystal with taking cover. Okay, so he's gonna dash out to here. <laughs> At the edge, he's kind of dancing with, flirting with danger at the edge of the ship. That's right. Gun aimed. Please, what would you like to roll? To I am gonna roll Excel on that one, and I'm gonna take a boon. Okay. Sorry, I just, the boon is going back at me and I'm choking on camera. Boon means one more dice, is that correct? Yes. Yes, okay. Whoa, one five. Oh. <laughs> and everything else very not five. <laughs> okay. You see that your shots just hit him, but with each impact, the <clears throat> the uh radiant eternity energy gets stronger, gets more more uh, vivid and bright. So the first one hits, ouch. The next one does less and less and less. And as you're about to dash back, he cannot cut down at you with the burning blade that is being held, but he simply holds his ha- his his other hand out and and you see a burning trail of of uh, of uh, of aether energy start at your feet as you make the the dash action. It just licks past you as you dash back, but you do not come out of it completely unscathed. Please take one point of strain. Told you, Sky, do not hurt them! And again, my pulse of my aura ushers out and takes that strain from you as I take another wound. Oh, thanks, Hammer Daddy. Oh, Speaking with multiple voices, uh, you hear the first I can't say to stand in our way is to spell doom so be it bitch um <laughs> <laughs> oh sorry i did just <laughs> um, <laughs> d-u-m-e i didn't expect that from you <laughs> be it, bitch. <laughs> i'm a today, little spicy sometimes today yeah. she became an icon <laughs> <laughs> One of us. One of us. So, uh, with the with the end of that round, a c- 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 
clock that I have set here oh, goes shit. down by one. And you see that Sky holds the same hand that he used to burn you out towards the c- c- crystal holding the main, the, the main war aloft. And he just into a fist and you see no. some of that energy dim and the ship no uh oh what would you like to do okay. i would like to take a running running leap at this guy okay yeah do that yeah that's good <laughs> <laughs> it's better than mine <laughs> Uh, Vidya would t- like to take a running leap at Sky with her, um, yes, with with those. Um, <laughs> they... sound, s- sound effects now. That's all it is. Yeah. Yes, yes. As as it should be. Listen, they're they're war fans. How we we gotta be anime about it. <laughs> this is an anime right now. Okay. Uh, it, it is an it anime. It is an anime. It's Final Fantasy. Let's go. <laughs> um, the as she leaps and swings at sky um there is like a flame that comes on the edge of the of the fan it's like a flaming arc of fire um so it is a burning fan that she is going to try and smack him with okay what would you like to roll to make that happen but the, but the, but the, if anything i i would like to roll study because she is taking something that she knows which is her magic and she is adding it to something a little bit new okay so this is this is an attack but it is more from your perspective in experiment a little bit of both yeah how how will this how will your magic interact with these relics how um uh how will it affect Sky, mm-hmm. please uh, make your roll. Can I take a move? You sure can. <laughs> I think we've got plenty. You sure do. As uh, the wave of the aether spills into your face. No way. Oh. Two sixes. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah. So I'm talking about. Oh my god. Um, as he's pulling. Aether energy out of the fragment, keeping the the, the 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 ship in the sky. He doesn't. He diverted his attention from you for just a split second. That's enough. Bitch. And that's enough, <laughs> ya bitch. Uh, you, you leap up and tell me what this. Yeah, just one. Yep. Two. Yep. Two slices um, of flaming war fans. And as you make contact with the first one, it you see ch- chips of frag fragment cut through first, mm-hmm. and then the second one comes down, and it cuts into flesh. But instead of b- 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 blood, white light comes out, and you find yourself suspended bended in the air, f- frozen in time for an instant, and you go away. <sighs> if you ever took time to sit with, uh, sit with, with Aifa and talk about, the, the, as she d- 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 describes her second sense, that that expansive view. It's like that, Mm. but instead of going into space, it goes into time. The ship goes away. Trees go into the, 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 the earth. All the foliage goes away and instead rises large bleak towers made of Arkan t- 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 tech and you see what the what the Arkan Empire was here in your home and then you go away from here to a different place a different s- 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 city the world around you is is unrecognizable so you can't place yourself in the world of Ardenelt and 
as you touch down in what looks like a uh, slum, a tenement, or just stacks and stacks and stacks of what these people must have called homes, you hear the call of a woman in the distance. Sky! Sky, it's time for food! And you hear, coming! And he runs, going to his home, a young, a young boy with a shock of distinctly blonde, spiky hair, uh, going home to to eat maybe the first, maybe the only meal he's had that day. And um, uh, as he goes into his home, uh, a simple box of a place, S- simple means, but it is what he knows is home. There is a familiar f- feeling of that warmth of home. And as he sits down and eats the the millet grain porridge that the the people of the Arkan Empire use as rations. He sees his mother kind of sigh, and he says, Mama, what's wrong? And she, she says, oh, it's fine. It's just, I remember this place being something else. And my m- 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 mother and father talked about this place being something else before that. And he goes, oh, and he eats the the porridge and ah, doesn't taste very good, but he eats it anyway, because it's food. And then he goes, mama, one day I'm going to change the world and I'm going to make it what it was and we'll be be happy. And she forces a smile and says, I would like that very much. <laughs> you spin <laughs> and land on the deck of the ship, Ew. having cut into s- 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 sky. Who's next? I was going to say, I'm going to take a page out of your book and take a slow turn. <laughs> Tell me more. I'm going to wait till everyone else is finished. And then I'm going to do something exceptional. Cool. Um, I should let you all know that not one, but two, three, and four. What? Bam, it breaks are available (laughs) now. So a very special thanks to Lawful Good Dad, Fox and Fancy, X Jam, and Grave Mortem. Thank you. It feels like the solution here is not brute force, but how do we not just use all the limit breaks? <laughs> well, here's my idea. I got an idea for the next, for my next one. Do it. But it's, I, it's, I don't know how many actions this is. It feels like it's a several parter. So, tell me when to stop. Mm-hmm. Whenever. Um, but I'm going to use an ability that I've unlocked called uh, Instinctive. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to describe my next action to you and you as the GM have to be truthful. Okay. Whether you're going to say it's going to be wheel, which is good outcomes for me, Uh stone, which is bad, or chaos, which is mix mix of good and bad. Okay. So here- I'm I'm gonna, I'm- You have to be truthful. I- I, It's written in- I I, I often- (laughs) (laughs) I say often, but yeah. Don't mess with me. Uh-huh. <laughs> Listen, I'm not one of your b- many children. <laughs> no, you're all 19 of them. <laughs> yeah. I was your manager at one point. Um, um, so, my course of action. Uh, I'm going to get each bunny to take one rope mm-hmm. and spread out. And I'm going to climb up the ropes and and uh, and get on top of him and use my limit break, which is going to be 
to break his brain, basically. Okay. <laughs> so that's yeah. that's brain. That's you brain. Yes, that's brain. you describing your action. <laughs> that's me describing my action. And you want and you sorry, you require me to be truthful, whether it will be wheel, stone, or chaos. Yes. Wheel being good, stone being bad, and chaos being a mix of good and bad. Yes. Okay. And I just tell you now. Yes. Okay. It will be chaos. <laughs> Fair enough. Let's go. I mean, sure. <laughs> All right, I'll do it. Okay. So here's what's going to happen. You want your children to take hold of these burning ropes. Before you do that, be, 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 before you hand it off to them, you can take the point of strain instead of harming them. Absolutely. So we will allow it that their uh, crustacean armor protects them, yep. but not be before you take one point of strain yep. there. Then you're going to dash up and use your limit break ability for the game to shatter his mind. So yeah, my limit break is called death sentence and it's a flash of the sight and the line between life and death is blurred. So what I'm really trying to do is get in there with my sense and I'm trying to like break his brain to for him to separate what he's become versus who he was. Barnacus is gonna help by trying to lash it in place with his astral chain. That is going to be a, uh, ta -ta -ta -ta. what's the word for that? I'm sorry. Help? This, okay, this is cool. This is going to happen. I just need to determine the consequences Absolutely. of your actions. It's chaos, so there's gonna be good ones. You yeah, said so. I think I take like... a thing to help. Could be. <laughs> 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 okay, so. <laughs> oh my god. You guys are good at this. <laughs> the fact that you're making my job like a little bit harder uh, is, is a good thing. Um, so, you will help her with your astral chain of ability. Is there a role applied to that? Uh, let me look. Or is it just, well, right, because it's flavor, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, so, it's, a, it's a melee attack. So, so I will say that uh, you can do this successfully uh, if you choose to uh, um, uh, invoke a burden. We're doing it. Okay, so you're going to uh, invoke a burden. If we tick that down, you will eventually suffer a point of strain. Um, in order to, um, you can do that, or you can channel more of that energy through your astral ch ch chain and take the point of strain away from her by taking a point of strain right now. I'll do that. Okay. Let's go. All right. So oh, you, hail crab. you you <laughs> you have that help action. Uh, that is plus one d d d die. You you are are you also allowing? Uh, uh, Load them up, baby. <laughs> All right, so you are now at plus two yeah. to make this happen here. And I'm gonna use, I think that's a sense mm -hmm. thing, my, my limit break, so mm -hmm. I'm gonna use four. This is to get there, right? The the limit break will happen. Did it? Oh, I see. Did you give me the die? No, you didn't give me the cool. die. Cool. Okay, so your, wait, so that's my limit break. break die so sorry, do you want me to roll on the traverse first and then the yes, limit break? Yes, Okay, please. so let me just wrap my head around that. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna take the boon on the traverse. Well, I'm taking your help on the traverse mm -hmm. uh, because I need that. Uh, and I think I'm gonna push myself on that as well, which is another effort. Yeah. Uh, which I don't have a lot left, but that's okay. Oh, right, I take one strain, right? Yeah, you take one strain. Okay, so this is me getting up there. Uh-huh. Two fours? Interesting. Oh, oh, boy. You really did say chaos, didn't you? I did. Chaos, right. Okay. <laughs> chaos, right. <laughs> it's the box. Um, so, you get there. 
He takes a point of strain for you. Yeah. You take a point of strain regardless. Okay. But that means that he's taking one instead of you taking two right now. Yeah, great. Okay. You leap up uh, your uh, the the fringes of your robes burning with the aether energy that he is casting down the leashes and and emanating off of his form. What does your limit break look like? So uh, this looks like um, I want to get like sort of on top of his head. And I, uh, it's like all of my bond powers combined. So I am seeing the past, present, future. I'm going right back. My eyes roll back into my head. Mm -hmm. I am like casting my energy out, not only in this lifetime, but past ones and future ones. I'm seeing it all. Um, and uh, I'm focusing that in um, like primarily into his brain, mm -hmm. like his frontal lobe decision-making. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to separate the demon that he's become and the person that he was. You leap into the air, literally a trail of flame uh, behind you, and you hold your ladle in front of you with both hands. A, not, it's not a burning magic energy in the way that you've seen from sky or that you maybe have seen from Vidya. It's not a, a thunder energy or a, a tinkering mechanical energy that you've seen from in the, 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 the Gnosis or Barnacus. It is a translucent black and white energy. This, this energy of life and death intertwining in a helix around your ladle and stretching out into a long heft and and then forming a spectral scythe in your hand. <laughs> With this scythe, you and cut down. And just before it makes contact, you hear all 19 of your kids go, ooh. <laughs> please roll uh, the appropriate roll and add your limit break die, please. This is a superpower. Go off. Um, I believe that's two sixes, mate. Yeah! Oh! Oh! Okay. And a one, but we won't talk about that one. You, oh, same. <laughs> you cut into him, and when you do, it cuts through the fragments like butter. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I just need to check something. Are you canceling yourself for that one? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just checking. Just gonna delete all my accounts. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure I can see in the chat. Yes, I would like to formally apologize. <laughs> I never was, thought I'd be making this video. But. I, I was wrong. Uh, no. <clears throat> it cuts through the, frag, the, the fragments, spilling out that same white to energy, and it cuts through his body completely. But it doesn't leave a scar or a line. Instead, what happens is as it cuts through the world around you goes stark white in a way that no one else can see and you are you cut through him and he's still intact but coming out of him along with your sight as if being trailed being hooked and pulled out is a d d d different form, a different f f f figure. You see Sky. Ah! He em emerges from the, the site and with a f f f f flourish, you and he tumbles to 
this to what you could, I guess, have to call a ground in this void space. And he stops and looks up at you. And he says, where am I? What is this? Um, wow, I don't know how to begin. Uh, you have become an immortal being that's trying to burn the world. And I just tried to suck the good guy back out of that. He looks at you and looks at his own hands and then looks up at the still statuesque image of the, the first icon, the, the, the aspect of his will. And he looks into that th- th- figure's eyes and he knows what you're saying is true. He knows how true it is. He knows exactly what you said and everything else behind it. And he goes, you have to stop me. So Whatever you can do, you need to stop me. Help me stop you. How? I'm trapped in there. Um, uh... When, when I'm, when I'm in there, it's, I'm blinded, drowning, deafened by my intent. I wasn't, I wasn't wrong, but I didn't know when to stop. Um, I have a really crazy idea. Sky, see this bag I have? It's kind of like a bag of holding. I don't know if you know about that. I don't, I don't know what that means, no. It just means I can... It doesn't matter. If you... It's really roomy. If you get in the bag... Then I've trapped you. The good you. And your soul. And then it's just a bad guy to deal with. You see... I don't know if this works. <laughs> I want to find you out. See, you as it. time is at a standstill, <laughs> you see one event happen in time, and that is an exhale slowly start from the aspect of Sky's mouth. Right and he, time. Sky, regards it and says, I don't know if it'll work, but I, I can't go, but I can give you something that will help. And he takes the sword from his b- 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 back and he looks at it and in, embedded in the pommel of it is a shard, perfectly r- 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 round, g- g- gold and c- 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 color. And he knocks it out with his fist. And it rolls t- t- to your feet. And he says that, that is what I use to bring the Arkham Judges to down. It'll help. Okay. And you see the the essence of him <sighs> begin to fold back into the aspect of Sky. He then takes the b- 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 blade in hand, and as he sucked in, he <sighs> I'll help however I can. <sighs> and he swipes up into himself, and Ooh. as he is sucked Ooh. back in, that same line that you cut with the, the scythe now leaves a mark in his b- 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 body, <laughs> creating the same white line of energy. <sighs> and you <sighs> come back, you fall, <sighs> land next to Vidya, and you see uh, the, the aspect of Sky, <sighs> real, <sighs> in pain. <sighs> no. His eyes are on you. Who's next? I'm gonna distract him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So while some of this has been happening, Barnicus has been winding another one of his toys. And at first, when you look at it, you think it's the Astral Guardian, you know, like the little Choco Raptor that he usually uses. Mm-hmm. But when he pulls it out, he turns to Sky and he goes, "Yo, check me out! I'm a Funginous Crab!" And when he pulls the thing out, it's a three-headed stuffed dog. 
uh -huh. a key sticking out the back. Uh -huh. And he chucks it over the crystal as he releases the key. And it unfolds into Cerberus. Oh, Amazing. I don't have a mini for that. <laughs> Why not? That's fine. You're this right. Place. No, no, you're, you're right. Yeah. Uh, it is still a giant stuffy. It's just yeah. huge, three-headed stuffy. It does have very real things. It... Uh, he, he has some abilities. He will last until he is defeated. Uh, once around, uh, uh, anything within range of the Hound may accidentally catch his scent and be attacked, any of our foes. And he also inflicts electrified damage. <laughs> cool. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, no big. So, we're gonna say that, uh, may I have that die back, please? I guess. Right. Oh, oh sorry. I'm gonna have we're to we're this. Thank you, thank yeah. you. Yeah. We're gonna say that Cerberus is, where did you, Place it around here. Uh, like, I just hawked him in the sky's general direction. Great. We're yeah. going to say it's here and yeah. large. And it b blows up and arr, 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 and then all three heads. <laughs> do, do, do you remember those stuffed toys they sold in the 90s of dogs and you flipped up the, the, the lip and it turned into an angry dog? Yeah. It's that. <laughs> it turns into that with three heads. Yeah. And huge. Um, and uh, immediately. How does it break again? Uh, that's uh, that's the sound. Uh, we 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 just got a raid. Uh, what a weird time! Thank you, Ken Goose. Uh, hello, welcome to the finale of Eternity Fragment Part Two. They're fighting God, just like a Final Fantasy game. Have fun. Anyway, I'm gonna use a boon for that too. Okay, amazing. Uh, yeah. Please. Make that. Ha I can't. I don't even need to touch it. Yeah, I'm Mark it down like so. here. <laughs> oh, uh, four. No. Okay. I so. knew. I was. I said it was gonna run out. Mm. <laughs> I've yep. been rolling hot for two games. So oh. you you cast this out. Okay. Your um, uh, it starts to cast. It's like. Uh, a lightning attack where all three breath weapons charge into uh, 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 sky or, or the aspect of sky and it blasts out. It hits him. So he does take the d d d d d d d damage and he's uh, just, but he's almost unprepared for it and plants his sword down like a shield and it deflects outward and arcs back into the crystal. Oh no. Now, this is going to cause a surge effect here. Uh -oh. This can hit you if you choose it to. Right now, it is lined up to hit Auburn Pain. Oh. I'll take oh. that. Thank you very much. And I just flex and my royal guard stance as I arc my energy towards this crystal and try to channel the ether into me instead. So it goes and aims right for, for Auburn Payne and Barnacus goes, baby! <laughs> and then she's like, oh no. And it bends around her and into your hammer. Take three points of strength. <gasps> and then d d d dissipates away. Uh, you see that sky, his wing, uh, the flame on it starts to flicker and he starts to float down, but stays aloft. Uh, he is hurt, but still st standing. As I assume are you. I've been waiting this long for this. Um, Auburn Payne goes, oh, wow. Uh, and with that, uh, uh, the, 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 the cigar in her mouth that was not lit is now lit, and she exhales <laughs> smoke unexpectedly. <laughs> oh. um, I would just uh, like to tack something on. Um, One the, more group. Oh, my God. Sorry. It doesn't even matter. Um, <laughs> Because I got this gold thing, uh -huh. this like a little orb, would you call that something hidden, forbidden, or secret? <laughs> you know, no one knew it was there before. That's true. And I yes. Would call that hidden. Yeah, I would. Great, then I would gain all my effort. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, that's right. 
Anyway, proceed. So, <laughs> so this entire time, Enosis has just been taking blow after blow. He's been supercharging his attack. Yeah. <laughs> so that it wouldn't be just one square, but three large. Uh, and for every blow that he took, he's going to channel it back into this one. Since it seems violence is all you understand, demon, allow me to invoke universal violence. And you stole my date. And you just see all <laughs> the spirits of Etherheim like come out and grab onto the hammer with me as I pull it out and have in the haft, which then attaches to a seventh arm that we took from the judge in our last encounter. Mm -hmm. As it extends ethereally, I pull like everyone's energy together for a dastardly strike. And just because we can, we'll limit break as well. So I take it you're spending a boon on that? You're spending a limit break on that? for you. Pardon me. Roll big. You got this. You got, you got all of you I with did. me. You got this. If this is successful, we're all going to be. Thank you, uh, 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 X Jam, for the spoon that I just acknowledged there. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh really? It's good. No, it's good. It's it's a okay. six. Okay. And two yeah. fives, but not a crit. Okay. The six is still good. It's a six. This is effect. This is. Uh, the limit break ability that you're casting here. Do you like a little flavor text? Holler. I sever divinity, <gasps> cutting through the fr threads of possibility, and I pour all of my rage, our rage, into this one blow to topple gods. Yeah. If there was yes, ever a yes, time. Yes, you do. Goddamn. It would be now. You. Bring this blade down. It is a, a, uh, uh, is it a wakazashi? Like the extra long katana, but because it's uh, uh, anime and JRPG, it's a little bit longer. <laughs> yes. Um, it gets longer as you swing. Like, I don't know how they program that in, in the game, uh, but you, and you bring the blade down down and and as the blade comes down it also comes down with you uh, on uh, uh, being held by spectral arms and your hammer comes down right after it a sh shock wave emits and you see a man in his early t t t t t 20s get struck in the face with a wooden sword, hard. <laughs> and he falls. <laughs> and you hear the person <laughs> wielding the, the blade say, on your feet, soldier. And he <laughs> spits out blood, rubs his bruised ch cheek and stands up again. You are in the paved bleak Training yard of the of the Arkan uh, uh, armies. You see the uh, drill sar sergeant says, "Assume the position again. Try again." You see that the young trainee Sky is holding a uh, uh, a baton, and he holds it and looks at it. He's been hit several times, and he holds it down. And the drill sergeant says, what is the meaning of this soldier? And he says, sir, this is not my preferred weapon, sir. He says, what? You should be effective with any. He says, Sir, I will be most effective with the 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 the, the blade of my f f father, sir. He says, "Oh, and what blade is that?" And with that, Sky stands up and puts the training b b b baton down. Goes over to the rack of 
training arms blunted for the purposes of this exercise and pulls out a broad sword, long, about the size of him that he barely looks like he can hold. And he returns to his spot and stands at attention. The uh, the drill sergeant says, what? You whelp, you can barely hold that thing over your head. And with that, Sky takes the, the blade and assumes the proper st- 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 stance with which you hold the b- 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 buster b- 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 blade. Behind the drill s- sergeant, you see on a balcony a number of officials, higher-ups, and among them is the highest ranked of them all, a very sullen-faced, bearded man with no emotion in his eyes, the judge of blades. Hmm. And you see just a cock of his head. And he goes, interesting. And with that, Sky attacks, and you flash out of it. What was your roll? Uh, a six and a five. Excellent. The counterattack that comes at you flies past you. The, the, the burning blade skims past you, but you see the vertical line that the seventh sword d- 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 dealt to to him, the burst of white light as you d- d- descend b- 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 beneath him. And Indosis is the only one who experienced that memory? Yes. Okay. Um, I believe that is the end of everyone's round, or 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 everyone's turn uh, in that round. Uh, oh, sorry, I've been told that the uh, no Dachi is accurate. That's the name of the lengthened sword there. Thank you. More like the yes Dachi. You see that the that the aspect of the first I. Is now shimmering with these illuminated scars uh, coming through his form. Um, and uh, again, he wields his hand and starts to draw energy from the uh, from the. Uh, uh, the the fragment that is holding the, 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 the main war high in the s- s- sky. Um, you feel the pull of Aether shift drastically this time. Oh, don't like that. Don't like that. Can I make you an offer? What's up? Feeling him pulling energy out of the ship can he pull energy out of me instead? And shatter my material, perhaps. Oh. Sheet. Interesting. I love a good bargain in the middle of the- <laughs> <laughs> This is fun. I say you both roll a dice. Okay. I'll say this. What's about to happen is going to affect everyone. If you perform that action, it can not affect everyone. It can affect everyone minus one person of your choosing. Can it be 19? Yeah. Choose her kids. Okay. <laughs> the waves of, of Aether spill into 
the uh, negative as it starts to pull away from you. Let us begin. for the c- c- curses, too. I have to acknowledge it. <laughs> Thank you, chat. <sighs> everyone, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> everyone this round is starting at a d- 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 deficit. You are all at a minus one, except for you and except for you. You are not at a minus one, and you are at a minus two. You got plenty of boons t- to spend, but you have to spend them to beat that deficit. As the ship itself rocks and tilts, everyone shifts and moves, trying to to hang on. A reminder: you are still many, many, many miles high in the air. The round begins anew. What would you like to do? I I had a vision. I saw his childhood. They they didn't have anything. I don't know what it means, but it means something. And and maybe you know maybe y'all can make something of it because Vidya's not quite sure what to what to make of it. Um, that clicks something for Eva. Oh. Uh. Yeah, you can continue, but that clicks something for her next turn. Okay, sounds good. Um, shall I limit break? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I will. I will use my limit break. Sick. Um, and I will. I will call upon a boon as well to take away that that minus. Mm-hmm. Um, my limit break is as follows. Uh, passage to the afterlife. You unleash the supreme sealer war art, inflicting. 10,000 blows and shattering the connections of your foe's vital energy to their body, hurrying on the transmigration of immortal souls. <laughs> uh, now, while I didn't see what Aoife saw with the sky inside of, you know, this this aether sky, um, I feel like Vidya just has this belief of like, there's something else. Like we were negotiating with someone. Like this can't be it. Um, and so as she uses her limit break, her focus is on like destroying the, the the evil, the demon aspects, rather than like sky in his entirety. Okay. Um, yeah, that's what I got. Be as vivid as possible as you t- t- describe this action piece. Okay. Um, and I took and I took a boon, so that way I'm yeah. I'm at a I'm at a zero. I'm at a neutral. This is my limit break. Mm-hmm. Someone else can help you also if they so choose. Oh, cool. Do it, yeah? Do it, yeah? Do it. Because okay. you inspired something in my brain with okay. saying that. I'm giving you, I'm, I'm taking an effort for you. Plus, plus one. Got it. Plus one. Vidya will use her, her, her new battle fans. Um, they're unfurled. They were previously on, on fire. Um, this is Supreme Sealer War Arts. She is going to take another running leap at Sky, and she is going to combine the fans together so that it is like one giant knife that will like impact him. Mm-hmm. Um, it's a little Kyoshi, but let's go with it. Let's go. <laughs> we gotta be a little Kyoshi with it. Um, <laughs> but let's go with it. Let's go. Let's with go. It. Okay. All right. All right. Um, and she will. Yes, she will make a a an impact with that. So you you would almost like see her like very anime. One leg out, one leg kind of bent, and she's like flying down with this like intending to slice and slice deep at the demon. Not necessarily at Sky. Trying right. to sever, you know what? 
So trying to sever those crystals. Okay. Fair enough. Word. Yeah, yeah. Word. Cool. Those are my bonuses. What the hell am I rolling? <laughs> <laughs> I will roll. Um, Da, 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 da. I'm going to roll. I'm going to continue to roll steady, actually. I, I will argue because it feels like she's continuing to experiment. Yep. Like she's not entirely sure what's going on here with him, and she's kind of testing things out as she goes. Mm -hmm. A really weird time to learn on the fly, but. That's what a chronicler does. Hey, you know? Yeah. yeah you learn on the job. Thank God, please. That is a six and a five. Okay, so with that six, you uh, succeed in this deathly, this amazing superhuman feat uh, that is your limit break. It starts not with a jump necessarily, but with just a small seal that you step onto and then leap off of, and then a larger seal as you start to descend and then you leap again. And with each leap, those seals follow you oh and gosh. they start to expand and spin around you and you catch them with the blades and form them into one and slice down and they spin out and, and they begin to cut and like literally shear the fragments mm -hmm. off of him. And you see that he begins to get pushed back and where he was standing is a glimmering image of the man that he once was. The, this vision of sky, whereas the the uh, power of the Eternity Fragment was um, strong and emanating from him when you encountered him. This time, it is it is uh, weak and and diminished. So where when you encountered him, only you could see him. This effect unlocks it so that everyone can see this happen. And he's kind of in an uh, ethereal state um, as he is now separate from the aspect and the aspect starts to crack and crumble away. You see the ghost of Sky. Icon freedom fighter, soldier, man, kid, all of it at once, f f floating b b b b b before you. And he says, it's not over yet. It isn't over yet. What isn't over yet? We can stop him, but we need to work to Together, let's, all of us. Let's do it. You start to fall, but with a flurry, <laughs> land on a platform and stay hovering at the level of both sky the the, the, the ghost and sky the, the aspect. I'm gonna whistle and. Uh, you all know that that now means you guys as well to come. Oh, and hopefully Sky knows it too. I'm whistling for everybody to come, including all 19 of my buddies. I'm gonna pull out that gold orb, mm -hmm. and I'm just gonna like put it in the middle of us, and like everybody put a hand on it. Um, and like from what I unlocked, he didn't have a childhood. He didn't have a lot of stuff, and he, the Arkan Empire was taking away his future. And so I feel like all the people that are here living in the present, this is, we're channeling, like, our energy, our love, our desire for the future, our good intentions for the future into this piece of ether. 
and I don't know what the action is. I don't know what it is. We just put our hands on it and we think good thoughts. Barnacus is going to try and push this over the edge by appealing to Sky. So he's going to use his knack and an ability called Fast Friends. Uh, it's one of his bond that. powers. Uh, of course you have that. Yeah. <laughs> um, his next charm action roll, uh, automatically treat the next charm action roll as a six. Its effects last up to a day, and then he will realize that he's been manipulated. Interesting. Yeah. So we're gonna flavor that a little d differently this this yeah. time because you're you're not channeling it into a person. You're channeling it into this fragment of golden materia, and it's this fragment of aether. And he's channeling it all towards Sky to try to unlock something that Sky hasn't had in a long time. Okay. And so for the first time, Barnacus drops all of the crab puns. And he holds Sky and says, I want you to remember what you never had, which was a loving childhood filled with laughter. And so I'm going to tell you this parable. Once long ago, a sheep and a dog sat down to dinner. It was a tense conversation. It got a little bit hairy. <laughs> and then the dog said, do you really think I'm too controlling? And the sheep said to him, you heard me. <laughs> I'm gonna roll for charm and hope that it can crack him and make him laugh. <laughs> and that that might be the thing that pushes him over the edge. Please roll. You're so lucky you're surrounded oh, by a wait, crab head. Using fast friends, I get to That's treat my next charm action roll as a six. Amazing. So. <laughs> Here's what happens, okay? This is pretty wild. Everyone is jumping in. You rolled an automatic six. Excellent work. You are, you've taken your action, uh, uh, basically you're taking your action now. I'm just trying to keep track of everything. You're all working to together. I want you to make the, the roll here. You are gonna make a roll of a single d, 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 d six. <laughs> you automatically roll a six. You are going to make a roll of a single d, d, d six. Okay. And I'm a single d six as well? No, you are the roll that you're making to ch ch channel this, oh, this gotcha. energy. Okay, so I'm gonna do sense with my knack. Okay. Yes. And I'm, you know what? I'm doing, I'm doing another effort. Yeah, that's right. I ain't got nothing to lose. <laughs> Can we push ourselves with this roll? We... Let's try it. I'm gonna put yeah. every last bit into this. I'm, I... Your... Yeah. How can I do yep. that? Can I mark I one effort to, yep. like, give Cheyenne... So <laughs> here's the thing. You can push it, but it'll cost you one of these. So one of you can push for the cost of a... <laughs> but let it break. Does anyone feel like they really need their limit break? I don't feel like I'm gonna need to teleport around and shoot bullets at him. I don't feel like that's the solution here. Um, what, yeah, you li we've, we, you had your limit break, I had my limit break. I had my idea. So, so go for it. Going. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. It's like bullets of love or yeah, something. Yeah, we're gonna okay. sacrifice that limit break. You will use this yeah. die to make that Sweet. roll, please. Yeah, it's a, so, it's a bubble gun. While, while everyone makes their roll, things are going t to happen. The uh, the crew of the, the ship had been making calls the whole time that they've been holding fast. Uh, you um, you hear the boss and yell, "We're losing altitude! Hang on!" As the ship keels down, uh, you see the the navigator fly. Out. Oh no! Oh no! He still lands on the ship, but oh, he hits God. his head. Wedge. Poor wedge. <laughs> you see. <laughs> you see Kit, the medic who is hanging on, let go and fly to help, and hangs on to help his fallen mate as the ship 
tilts. Uh, sorry, quick question. I sacrificed that limit break to help Cheyenne. Does this go to her? Yes, it will. I don't think I can take that many. You, here we go. That's right. That's the end of the game. Limit break. Oh, do it. <laughs> you see, as the ship is in full dive now, um, Auburn Payne is losing control of the wheel, hanging fast, and then looks around and sees that there's only one option. And as the ship dives down, she lets go and flies off of the ship. Badass. Okay. Okay. Oh, no. Shit. Oh, man. Goosebumps again. Goosebag. <laughs> Fly, goose back, fly. <laughs> With that, make your rolls. <laughs> <laughs> what happened there? <laughs> oh, okay, cool. all right, go, go, go. Word, word, word. <laughs> That's how that rolling dice is. <laughs> 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 I got two sixes. Yes. That's right. Unless this goes to pour some more energy in there, and all that pours out are a few drops of blood. <sighs> Three. Okay. Aww. I rolled a five. Mm -hmm. Okay. You all pour your everything into to this. From most of you, you feel the pull of aether. From you, you feel the pull of your life's blood into this uh, materia. And then it cracks and cr crumbles in your hands. I broke it. <laughs> the ship continues t to f fall. And you, you. Oh no. Are not a, 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 a sixo tankerer anymore. You are now a, a sixo merchant towards the end of his life, telling a young sky a really stupid joke the day before he ships off to the Arkin Army Academy. And you've seen this kid Grow, grow up in 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 the hood that, that that he's from, and you've seen this young, vibrant life eventually chip away more and more and more of anything that could possibly make him happy, as so, as it's done so many of the people who live here, and maybe for the first time in years since he was a kid, you you hear him go, <laughs> <laughs> that's. That's the stupidest joke I've ever heard. <laughs> and with that, you give him, you kind of look both ways and give him an extra r r r ration. And he goes, oh, I, I c c couldn't. He go, and you say, no, no, you must. You, you must. For your mom. And he goes, you know, mom's not here anymore, right? And the Fixo says, well then, for a growing s soldier to help you hold the sword of your father. Oh. And he t t t takes it reluctantly, walks through the bead curtain of this darkened shop. And that's the last time you ever see that young man again in p p person. The next time you see him, he is fighting at the front line, not for the Arkan Empire, but against them. The people of the world have rallied behind him. He is not just a soldier. They're calling him something. They're calling him an icon. And he is using abilities and powers and things that you have never seen. And it makes you think of tales that your parents told you of those who were blessed by the Titans them 
themselves. And you think it might be that, but then you think, no, that's, it can't be that. It's probably just the extra r- 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 ration that you <laughs> <laughs> It's definitely that. <laughs> it's food. You snap back t- 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 to, and the ship is falling. And you can see the ground coming closer and closer. And then you see the ground crack and b- b- break. Not where uh, uh, um, uh, 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 Haven's ledge is, but in front of it. Mm-hmm. The, 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 the aspect did ask you, do you know what could lay b- beneath this p- p- place? And you didn't have an answer. You're about to find out as a gigantic stone hand bursts out of the earth and grabs hold of the ship, stopping everything. Everyone lurches forward as the hand of a titan oh my God. catches you. The... Um, the uh, forward in the inertia is stopped by uh, uh, aether energy cascading upward from it. You can all assume a stance as this magical energy that conjured this, this golden materia that that you had, that you cast, uh, that you poured yours and yours and yours and yours and your children and the crew and everyone's will into to stop the 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 end of days from from happening and you see sky fade away with a smile on his face all that is left is the crumbling husk of the aspect of the first icon twisted Losing his way, he looks back and sees what has ne- what hasn't been seen since before the Argon Empire itself, and he says, "It cannot be." But that's not what ends him. What ends him is the charging lance, <laughs> baby. Oh, she's back, dragoon just charging down. She never stopped flying ahead, but your ship did, and she (gasps) (laughs) 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 The aspect of the first icon is no more. Shout out DJ Born and Craze. That's right. Hey, Born and Craze. Right. I will everybody. never get old. That's so satisfying to hear. Oh, I feel like I needed that palate cleanser. Yeah, yeah, right? Oh. Oh. I got water based makeup on. It's oh, no. <laughs> Sorry, sir. <laughs> the uh, the <laughs> dragoon and captain of the ship is now hanging on t- to the front of, of, of the mast as the shards. Of, of the aspect of the first icon flow past her. And she says, get off my ship. <laughs> her d- 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 dragon's lance falls out of, of her hand as she needs all of her effort to hang on. And she w- w- watches it tumble away. And she goes, that was pretty cool. How do we get down from here? That's a great question. <laughs> uh, uh, Barnacus is going to use habitual line stepper. He's going to go like this. He's going to go. I'm cold, but in. Poof, seawater. He ends up over beside Auburn Payne. He's gonna pull a picnic basket out of his bag. <laughs> Why we gotta go anywhere? <laughs> Time and place. You have uh, a hell of a view, and she kind of goes, sweet. <laughs> 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 
Can you roll me a single D6, please? You can add uh, one of the many, many boons that you yeah. have t- 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 to this r- roll. That's... Maybe even two, if you like. Maybe even two. If you like. Just just potentially Do two. Do it. Six. You all stop and regard everything that's happened here. And you all think, wow, that was pretty wild. We just s- saved all of Arden Eld. I could use a b- 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 break. But the first one to sit down is in the mnemonosis. My friends. No. And just wounds start opening up all over his body. Did I save you this time? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you did. Please, can't we save you? This is nothing you can do. My time's run out. One of my buddies grabbed soup and is trying to... I... I... Safe for you, kid. Oh, there's no healing in the world that can stop this now. Yeah, shut up. As a <laughs> kit, the medic steps up, pulls out a giant flask that looks like a a, a jug of the engine oil. He opens it, it smells like a jug of engine oil, and he pours it into his hand and just, and just starts slapping all the wounds on you. It burns more than anything you've ever felt in your life. And he says, I can't fix my marriage, but I can fix you. <laughs> you Marty rolled a six, goes, that right? That was so much information. Okay, good. <laughs> um, just a quick thank you to uh, all the people who have followed us in that time. <laughs> thank you. Uh, special thank you to the legitimate uh, and girls run these worlds, and thank you as well for the raid. Thanks. Woo. Yeah. As um, we fade out from this scene here, you all get a chance to put something into the fragment of this sh- ship, which is now made a permanent home on the petrified stone hand God. of a t- 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 titan. Outside of your home. Yeah, Haven's Lodge is gonna become a tourist spot now. <laughs> <laughs> the chroniclers ain't gonna be too In the same. Okay. <laughs> what the hell? Uh, <laughs> in the same way that. Uh... Oh, I, I think we also have a new f- follow by Arcanian Ending. So uh, thank you very much for, for that. Appropriate name. Yeah. I'll say. Uh, Paul Chino as well. Yo, we're getting activity tonight. Oh. Yeah. Rock. In the same way that Sky, when he was a soldier fighting back against the the Arkin judges, left trails of memories along the 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 way in. Uh, fragments and shards, you each get to leave something behind for the future of of Arden L to bear witness to. How you live after this is entirely up to you all. But the question at hand is, as the age of the green ends and what the people in your time called the turning age begins. It's not 
all happily ever after. Because that's not how life works, you know? There's ups and downs, highs and lows. People live, people die. The world has a chance to grow and change. But the question is, when they find this place that will surely become a site of pilgrimage for all the icons and like a bougie tourist destination <laughs> for everyone else, when they get a chance to, if they're brave enough, climb the hand of the t -t 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 Titan and touch this fragment, they'll see memories of you. How do you want the, the future of Arden Eld to re rem remember who you are, who you were? We'll start with you. Be brave. That's a message. To be brave, to embrace yourself. To never let your imposter syndrome win. Just be brave because you don't know the wonders that are out there for you. And if you never go out and journey, how will you ever see them? So embrace yourself and be brave, even if you make mistakes along the way. It is worth it to become an icon. Oh man. Uh, when you touch the shard, you see a gorgeous sunlit day, and you see a hand reach out and pull out a strange black disc with a hole in the middle of it, <laughs> and lays it on the table, and in the background, 19 bunnies in crab armor start streaming into the room, yelling, Wu-Tang Clan! <laughs> and when you drop the needle, you just hear, be a crustacean and move on up. I know your evolution's on interrupt. I don't have no problem with you not shelling me, but I have a little problem with you shelling me. Baby, you know I wanna swim with you, but you still be breathing air, so I know I can't do. So I walk on over all pinchy, and my enemies get all flinchy. Now I won't be having that in this house, so baby, just be a sea lion. And just be. <laughs> as a uh, not as not not just you and nineteen, but twenty two <laughs> teenage to young adult uh, 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 b b b bunny kin wearing the flyest g g gear uh, uh, of their age and time. Um, uh, spit the tightest b b b b bars. Each one has nine names and 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 pseudonyms and 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 alter egos. Uh, it's it's a lot to 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 to, to dive into. Um, when people come to this place, they particularly try to find that memory. It doesn't pop up for everyone. Only the like. Real ones. <laughs> Not me. Real. <laughs> Wu Tang's for the kids. Wu Tang's for the kids. Wu Tang clams is Ain't for the children. Ain't nothing to shock with. In the 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 How about you? When you touch the shard on pilgrimage and you see a gnosis fall out of a skyship and walk towards whoever is trying to access this memory, he shows you that you can defend others and that you can protect them with everything you are, but that's not all you are. They are also you, and your strength is their strength. And that is truly what protection is. 
amazing. The uh, more um, uh, devout individuals who come here to learn what it means to be strong often come out on, with the understanding that it is to be strong for those around them. And it is not an unnoticeable percentage of those individuals who walk away from this, looking at the at the arms in their hands and saying, I gotta change this up for a hammer. <laughs> um, when you put your hand on the crystal, um, if you do it just right, um, a bunch of tiny handprints appear all the way up, um, including the really little ones, mm-hmm. old babies, um, and it just continues growing, and you get um, this overwhelming feeling of the future, like the past, the present, and the future, and how it all repeats. Um, and how life goes on. And it's very simple and it's very peaceful. Um, but you just get these, they get little smaller handprints, little bunnies. Everybody Amazing. everybody has a, everybody leaves a little piece behind. Amazing. And it is with that, that the p- pilgrims kind of take their hands away and consider the memories of the past and from this beautiful vantage point look at the 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 ardent eld of the turning age and think about how they can be icons for the future and we're gonna end it there how how's everybody oh Y'all, y'all good? good. Yeah. Good, I'm happy to hear it, because I got a lot of credits. Uh, (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Ready to clap for two minutes straight. Thank you very, very much to uh, my four amazing players here. Uh, I'm going to give you a chance to let the the audience know uh, where they can find you, but there are some people I want to shout out first. Um, uh, 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 Special thanks to all the help uh, with the uh, with the Tailspire maps in the previous episodes, from Tim for helping me build it, uh, Trevor for helping me sh- sh- show it off. Uh, I've already given the shout out to the minis department, Tim, and the amazing ship built by uh, Ch- Ch- Chelsea. Uh, so so good that I had to name it after her. Yes. Uh, the the main the main war. Um, uh, we showed. B- b- brilliant produced cutscenes by our Cine d- 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 department, uh, Ketty, Owen, Silas. Um, um, hey. <laughs> 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 I still have a stutter. Uh, and, <laughs> and of course, Casey, uh, who is going to get double, triple, quadruple credit here uh, uh, for, for, for also being our live d- 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 DJ, DJ Born and Craze, everybody! Uh, again, a shout out to Scotty for the original uh, tracks uh, for Eternity Fragment 2. Uh, the, the performers of the cutscenes. <laughs> Kirby and Josh, who are also our set deck, who did an amazing job. Uh, 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 don't forget uh, the 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 Arkin j- 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 judges uh, them them themselves, Andrew, Tristan, and uh, yours truly. Um, but for, for, for get about me, they did an, an amazing job as well. Uh, 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 the costume did. did, did, did department for making everyone look amazing. Uh, Ash and of course, Chris Murdoch here. Um, the, the hair and makeup department, Sarah and Lala. I mean, come on, let's let's hear it for them. Uh, the tech d- d- department for making these games run smooth as ice. Um, and, uh, and of course, our players, uh, please uh, let us know who you are and where we can find you starting over here. 
Hello, my name is Leona. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram at the Leona Maple. That is the best place to find me, follow me, and keep up with the things that I'm doing, such as being here or being your friendly neighborhood magical girl and tabletop RPG diversity and inclusion expert. I have wrote two lines for the show, and I didn't expect to get emotional because I was expecting to get emotional now. <laughs> Though this fantasy has reached its final, and some of us must be on our way. Life is an adventure, dear friend. So keep on questing every day. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you all for having me. It has been an absolute honor. Wouldn't have it any other way. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Where Hi, I'm Chris Murdoch. You can find me at Chris, M-Y-R-D-O-C-K on Instagram and Facebook and at Torpedo, B-L-V-D on Instagram if you're interested in some of my art. You can find me at the Rio Theater on May 20th. If hey. you are around Vancouver, I'll be doing a circus act. I haven't performed since before the pandemic. Uh, and uh, I want to say thank you to Alain. This is my second time really playing a role-playing game in my first ever campaign. So getting to actually play a character out was awesome. Uh, and then my last shout out is to an artist named Pina because this <laughs> joke got too much mileage. <laughs> And I owe Rute Clam entirely to She's a local artist out of Euclid. I don't know her website, but it's pretty easy to find her, and she's amazing. Hey, I'm Sarah Canelli. Uh, you can catch me on Wednesday nights on Fable Masters, where we stream Stars Without Numbers right now. Uh, you catch me on Questline doing all sorts of crazy stuff and helping bring dreams to life. Uh, you can also catch me at Chef Cargs if you want to hit me up on Twitter and see all my random shenanigans. <laughs> Sounds like fun. See you there. And I'm Cheyenne Rulo. Uh, you can find me here on Questline playing a bunch of games always. Uh, you can find me on Instagram at shynanigans, C H E Y, nanigans. Uh, and you can catch me on Paramount Plus's Grease the Rise of the Pink Ladies, which is streaming now, a new episode every Thursday. Check it out. Amazing. Um, and uh, I want to give an, another th thank you as well. If you're w w watching this live, then then you've seen uh, such amazing things. If you're watching this on y y YouTube, however, there has been an added touch, uh, an extra bit of editing involved. Uh, and, and I want to sh shout out our post de department who also did a phenomenal job uh, editing uh, the Cutscenes from the first three uh, 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 episodes. Uh, the the uh, the edit and the graphics. Uh, I want to thank them for their amazing skill and patience uh, with me for being like. So this Final Fantasy cutscene is like. This. So like, uh, thank you so so much uh, to uh, Kenny and Matt and Tanya. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, uh, and uh, and of course, uh, I am Alan. Uh, I have been your host and game master. You can find me uh, on Instagram, uh, where uh, I don't know. I post jokes, I guess, uh, and then uh, every now and again. Uh, but you can also find me uh, right here on Questline, either per performing and playing in or her, or helping run or her, or her even just standing on the sidelines and watching the hell out of the amazing <laughs> games that we make here. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, stay tuned for the raid. We we definitely have one of those on the way. Oh, the da, 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 sound, Dylan! Thank you. Thank you to <laughs> Dylan uh, uh, for, for making sure that, that we, we sound good. I am the loudest person in this <laughs> building and he makes me tolerable for, for, for everyone at home. Uh, so thank you, at thank home. you, thank you. <laughs> There's only so much he can do here, all right? <laughs> uh, thank you to, to, to everyone who watched live and uh, followed and redeemed and Distributed. Uh, uh, stay tuned for the raid. Come back every Tuesday for more new games. And until next time, peace. <laughs>